We welcome you to the Brong Ahafu region. The region is a combination of Bono and Ahafu ethnic groups with a few subgroups parted to the neighboring Cote d'Ivoire. When the Brong Ahafu region was born, Sunyani became its capital. This is a place where the prominent hunter Nana Bwahinkoko settled and fled his elephant's game. He subsequently named his hamlet as Sunjaye, which is now corrupted to Sunyani. These are some of the remains of the elephants and other wild animals that used to inhabit the Brong Ahafu region. These brass relics, locally known as Ayawa, were used by King Tinbathen. The preservation of these traditions is a continuation of sharing ideas to ensure the survival of our culture and our people. The cultural heritage of these modified Asian brass relics are nowadays used to display artifacts such as clothes, footwear and other ornaments. This tradition is seen in every royal gathering in Ghana. Let's go back a few minutes and see the kind of ceremony that has brought this gathering. In Ghanaian tradition, setting whenever a stool becomes vacant a qualified individual from the royal family is chosen to occupy the vacant stool with the help of a queen mother and the busia penny during the swearing in of a new personality as the chidomhene of sunyane odomase careful guidelines are followed the personality chosen goes through the process of swearing an oath and pronounces his allegiance to the king the family from which the chidomhene is chosen presents drinks as offering to the traditional leaders to show their appreciation the new successor is the then carried and shown to the rest of the community alongside singing and dancing. The cultural troupe accompanies the king with drums being beaten to signify victory as the new Chidomhine has been installed. Dancing and drumming has significant purpose in the Akan tradition. In an interview, Mr. Kusi talks about the history of drums amongst the Akan in Ghana. He says, according to Akan history, it was a woodpecker that made the first drum. The bird made great sound by making hole into an old African mahogany tree. When the tree fell down, the hunter who had been observing the bird brought the tree home. He cut the tree into sizable log and began to produce sounds from it. His children loved the sound. This is the fountain from the biggest drum in Nakan society. The Tumpan drum are made up of a male and female. These drums are followed by fountain from a Tumpan, a dual Tumpan, a Tumpan Ma, a Paintini, a Paintini Ma, then Petia, Kodum, Adenema, Jamadudu, and Pintini. Most Akan drum have Adinkra symbols engraved on them, and every symbol on the Akan drum has a meaning. When talking about symbols, among the artifacts that led to credence to the claim that Bono is the cradle of Akan civilization are the philosophical Adinkra symbol and also Bono Ontuma, which is believed to have led to the weaving of Kente. Kente weaving is still practiced in Techiman and its surrounding towns and village. Nowadays, Adinkra cloth is used in almost every occasion in the Ghanaian society and some parts of the world. At the Sunyana Technical University, we see an exhibition of beautiful artifacts on display. The desire to continue cultural ideas handed over from one generation to the other is one that has to be commended. Students of the fashion department are not only interested in producing what our forefathers used to produce, but they are also finding new ideas to create trends in the art industry. Our culture brings about existence of these traditions, and it is deeply rooted in our songs, dance, and what we wear. Taking inspiration from nature is not a bad idea it is who we are nature has endowed the Brong Ahafu region lots of tourist attractions although not fully developed these places are noted for tourism as they serve many purposes to numerous tourists who visit Kentampo the center of Ghana is noted for having both the Kentampo waterfalls and Fula Falls here we see water gushing out from these large rocks it tumbles down and appears wider at the base of the rocks the water appears and disappears as it stretches from one level to another. For most stories, the happy feeling is recognized when one realizes the force of nature. Other types of tourist attraction places are the Buabin Fema Monkey Sanctuary. This place serves as a home for both black and white colobus and mona monkeys, as well as natural habitats for birds and other animals. The monkeys are allowed by villagers to have access to the village to sometimes eat as well, although the chunk of food is found in the forest. The fact about food is that every 
every living thing needs it for survival. And the Bonga Hafu region is endowed with a vast arable land renowned for staple crop like cassava and cash crop like cashew as well as cocoa. Farmers are finding new methods of boosting agriculture in Ghana by venturing into organic method of farming, which is different from the indigenous method of farming. A tractor is used to turn and loosen up the soil, as well as remove tree stumps before the prepared chili pepper is transplanted into the field. After a few months, the boom sprayer is used to spread organic manure across field. This process enables the plant to bear more fruit and prevent fungus from attacking the chili pepper. The harvested pepper is processed and exported to the world market as the rest is sold on the Ghanaian market. For most people, football is the greatest sport ever invented. The nature of sports has over the years grown and touched the heart of many people. There are football clubs in various parts of the region that play in the Ghanaian league. Among the major clubs are Adriana Stad, Bechem United, 11 Wonders, Bekum Chelsea. In 2009-2010 football season, Adriana Stars of the Mahinko made history in the Ghanaian Premier League after becoming the first club to win the Premiership title on their debut of competition and a world record of scoring 19 goals and winning 30 matches. With the right facilities, Brunga half people are a force to reckon with as far as sport is concerned. The frontliner chiefs of the Bonga Afri region who started a movement of independence cannot be left out. They include Nana Kofi Bosia Jinanchi of Drobo, Nana Jimain Badu the first of Doma, Nana Fosuji Abo the first of Bechim, Nana Kwame Ajimain the second of Abasi, Nana Kofi Amia the third of Techimai, and Nana Kwesia Preku of Odomasi number one. This is a land of warriors. Bye. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe. Put up your nose again. If you know Jesus and the Heavenly Father, I want give thanks.